Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the cracking moment in beam. That what is meant by cracking moment? And I will explain this topic with the help of an example, so it will be more easy to understand. Now, by cracking moment, I mean the moment at which the first crack in the concrete starts to occur. This is known as the cracking moment. For example, if I consider this in a, this in a beam and there is some load acting on the beam, let's suppose W in a uniformly distributed load and if I draw the line diagram for this beam and let's suppose there is also some load acting on the beam, this is the line representation of the above beam. So due to this load W, there will be some movement occur at the beam. By increasing this load, if I start to increase this load, the bending moment will also be increased. If I further increase this load, the bending moment will be further increased. So by increasing the load, the moment is also increased. And at certain point, we will reach to a state that there will be a crack in the tension portion of the beam. The first crack. If I show the first crack, for example, this is the first crack in my tension portion of the beam. So now at this point, the moment or the load, the load will be called is the cracking load at which the first crack occur in the beam. This is the first crack. And also the corresponding moment will be known as the cracking moment in the beam because due to this moment, the first crack in the beam occurs. And where this crack occurs, it is mostly in the tension portion of the beam because at the top we have compression where concrete is strong in compression at the bottom portion we have tension where concrete is weak in tension so the crack always starts to occur at the tension portion of the beam now how we can find the cracking moment for a beam if we have some uh, cross section of the beam some cross sectional properties and some concrete strength then how we can determine the cracking a uh, moment for any beam so Let's consider that we have concrete strength of 50 megapascal. This is the concrete that we used in this beam. And there is also some load acting on the beam of W. And we want to find out the cracking moment MCR. What is the cracking moment for this beam to start the first crack in the beam? So now to find out this cracking moment, is we know that the bending stresses can be found out by this formula mc over i this is known as the bending stresses sigma is the bending stresses where m is the moment c is the distance from the neutral axis of the beam to the point where you find out the stresses and i is the moment of inertia of the cross section of the beam so if we want to find out the moment here m so m will come out to be sigma i divided by c and if i replace this sigma this bending stresses by the tensile strength of the concrete so m will be equal to the cracking moment tensile strength of the concrete into i divided by c what i did here i replaced this value this bending stresses the tension or the compression stresses by the tensile strength of the concrete here by tensile strength because if we shift or transfer this value by the tensile strength it means if we reach to the tensile strength of the concrete so at this point the moment the crack will start in this moment will be known as the cracking moment so this is the main point that we shift or transfer this value this stresses value into the tensile strength and if we reach the tensile strength of the concrete then the first crack will occur at this portion of the beam so now how to find out this if t by standard codes by ACI you can use this formula 7.5 adult FC dash where this gives the tensile strength in the unit of PSI now if I found out in the euro code so if t is equal to the uh, 0 0.30 into FC which is the compression strength of the concrete into 2, 2 by 3 is the power on the concrete strength so now the tensile strength will be equal to 0 0.30. The concrete compression strength is 50 megapascal. 50 into 2 by 3. This is just our assumption that we have 
our concrete of 50 megapascal compressor strength so by putting this value we will get the tensile strength of the concrete which comes out to be 4.1 megapascal this is our tensile strength of the concrete of this is the maximum tensile strength that concrete can take so now we find out this is 4.1 i is the moment of inertia of this beam and for this beam we can find out moment of inertia bh cube divided by 12 b is the width which is 0.1 which is the 0.2 meter height is 0.2 so 0.1 into 0.2 cube divided by 12 so you will get the moment of inertia for this beam which comes out to be 0 0.0001 meter 4 this is the moment of inertia for this beam now we also find out the moment of inertia the last thing is the c where c is the distance from this point from this neutral axis up to the compression fiber or to the tension fiber but hence we are interested in this tension fiber because we will have crack in this tension portion of the beam so this is our t which is equal to the 0.2 divided by 2 because 0.2 is the total depth of the beam so it will be c will be equal to the h by 2 or we can say 0.2 by 2 it comes out to be 0.1 meter so we now know the if t the i and c if we put all this value into this formula so now it will be mom, cracking moment will be equal to the if t into i divided by c it comes out to be if t was 4.1 i moment of inertia was 0 0.001 divide sorry it was the, like this one 0 0.001 let me confirm this it was zero it is three zero so it is three zero here dividing by c c was zero point one so by this we got the cracking moment of zero point zero zero four one mega newton into meter if we just convert into kilonewton we got four point one kilonewton meter so this is the cracking moment at this point the first crack in the beam will start crack will occur the first crack i mean the first crack in the beam will occur in the tension side of the beam this is known as the cracking moment and correspondingly the load will be known as the cracking load and how to find out this load cracking load we can also know that the moment is equal to wl square by 8 for the simply supported beam so if we this is cracking moment so it will be the cracking load so cracking load will be equal to the m cracking into 8 divided by l square so we know the cracking moment this value 8 is the constant l is the length of the beam uh, depends how much is the span of your beam so you can also find out the cracking load so this is also shows the load at which the first crack will start so hope you guys understand what is meant by cracking moment it is the moment in the beam where first crack in the beam starts and cracking load also shows the load at which the first crack in the beam starts. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.